Dagur Kauri's third film, The Good Heart, starring Brian Cox and Paul Dano, opens on March 5th in Iceland and a little later in France and the USA. I asked the director what attracted him to the world of small and secluded bars. I always get this feeling of comfort when I'm in a, in a small and, and, and uh, clearly defined space and, and, uh, and I always try to structure my films around like a very really, very confined universe. Uh, yeah, for instance, like the, the toilet of an aeroplane to me it is a magical place because it's like only one square minute, me, meter and, and, and it's so functional, like every, every, every inch is like uh, carefully organized and, and, and uh, that is maybe the, the extreme but uh, if possible I would like to make a movie in an airplane toilet because it's like has <laughs> has all the right uh, elements that like uh, for, for me what do you want i'll have a bloody mary please and do you have organic tomato juice sorry we're out of celery and, and, and a bar is also, you know, to me, it's a magical place. And in fact, I think uh, uh, one of the first inspirations was also like this, this Bunuel quote that he, he, he t talks a lot about bars and drinks in his memoirs, My Last Breath. And his definition of a bar is, is like a dark and a cool place where man can come and drink alone. And, and this is sort of the... The, the rule number one for this bar. Lucas! Lucas, you little punk! I need your help. What do you mean? They don't have a family, no friends. And I'm not even interested in anything like that. What I am interested in is that this bar goes on after I'm gone. I remember when your, when your second film came out, uh, Dark Horse. Uh, he talked about si uh, sitcoms like Seinfeld uh, as influences, and, uh, and, and and that film also has this interplay between seriousness and, and uh, uh, very whimsical humor, uh, as as Good Heart does, and even Noel Alpino also has has those elements. Uh, are you trying to create a, like a new genre, like a, the art house sitcom, or, 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 or what's going on? Uh, yeah, I think that's a very good description, an art house sitcom, because I'm, I'm, I'm definitely fascinated by both worlds, and, and uh, uh, like for me, uh, I think the most enjoyable uh, watching experience is, is like a good sitcom, because you have this clearly defined uh, uh, universe and, 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 a, and a bunch of characters that you really like, and it just goes on and on and on, and like the. The key rule for a sitcom is that the, the, the characters must not uh, develop, they must not learn from their mistakes because then, 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 this, then the loop would be ruined. So it's this uh, uh, feeling of being in an endless loop with people you love that, that uh, fascinates me. But uh, sitcoms, especially, um, I mean, talking a few years back, was the, the, the aesthetics was always very crappy. Uh, so I wanted to yeah, combine the, the best of the two, uh, because art house, even if it uh, has the, the is pleasing to the eye, often it, it has the problem, in my opinion, that it, it tends to take itself too seriously. Oh. Okay. So, was there any t at any time this idea that you would you were consciously trying to make a trilogy? Because you can see a lot of thematic similarities between the three mm. films. Mm, no, in fact, I was very uh, consciously trying not to create a trilogy trilogy because uh, uh, I had seen, seen so many interviews with directors who who uh, talked in, in trilogies, and, and and for me it was so obvious that they, this was like a uh, an idea that was created uh, afterwards. I always found it pretentious, so uh, I was in the belief that I was making like three extremely different movies in three languages even, And uh, but now when I've, I've, I've completed three movies I can see so many <laughs> similarities that I, I, I have fallen to the, the, the trap that I was trying to avoid. 
From now on, you're my student. What I am interested in is that this bar goes on after I'm gone. And that's where you come into the picture, Lucas. Jesus, Jock, I feel strange about this. Trust me. I did not want to, to make a, a bar that was sort of cinema friendly, like a, for instance the Cheers, where you have this, this huge bar in the, you know, and, and there's like this, uh, it's very clear that the, the, there's the room for, for different cameras and so on, so we, we made a fairly small bar where in fact there is not enough space for the camera and we did not remove any walls or anything like that, so, so we treated the bar uh, as a location, even if, if, if it was built in, in the studio, and uh, and we also tried to sort of play with uh, the limits in, in terms of, of light. Like we kept it uh, very dark, and uh, yeah, it's, yeah, that's like a, one of the main characters in the movie. You have not understood a thing. This is not a cafe. This is not a restaurant. This is not a bistro, nor is this a brasserie. This is a bar. And by definition, the capacity of a bar cannot exceed 13 people. Think Jesus and his apostles. I'm sorry. Lucas, you must control the pitch. You also do your own music? Yes, that's right. Uh, uh, with my friend Ori, uh, we have this band called Slowblow, and we have uh, made the music to, to all, my, all my films so far. How, how important is, is music to you? It's extremely important and extremely difficult to, to make music for movies because Almost always it's too much. Most of the work goes into like finding the right tone and the right balance, supporting the atmosphere or the feelings of the movie, movie without like imposing them. But uh, I enjoy it very much. I think maybe like editing and, and, and making the music are the two phases of filmmaking that I enjoy the most. I am very thankful and I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you have saved my life and given me food to eat and clothes to wear. And I wish I could pay you back in some way, but I have nothing to give That's all except right. for my sperm. I would like to donate my sperm. No.